Last Monday afternoon, while I waited for 8 o'clock, it occurred to me that for a moment, I couldn't remember Trayvon Martin's name. Thinking like, not the hands up hashtag, but the hoodie one. You know, like the episode where Theo gets his ear pierced or Rudy sings the Ray Charles song. No matter how many times I see this on TV, I will forget some of the details. Eight o'clock comes. Jackass stands next to a few flags on television. I listen for as long as I can stand to without learning anything. I didn't know it's 7.30 or in 1957. I can't even see how far back behind us on the road this belongs. After three minutes of fucktard, I can only shut the thing off and sit down in front of a piano. My hands are getting restless. You want me to write a poem about this? We've been writing poems about this for a few hundred years. Sometimes I question the ammunition that we've chosen, like if the pen were mightier than the pistol, wouldn't Darren Wilson be the one dead? Or if Bobby yes. Steele is still tied to a chair in Chicago, would someone get a knife? and untie him, my hands are getting restless. I was there three years ago. I marched beneath the flag of Palestine to McCormick Place where the devils were deciding how to next divide the conquest. I met a girl named Sparrow. She wore black shorts and black socks. A black shirt, a black bandana. We talked about music and camping and there was this look in her eye that if it ever really did come down to it, she was ready to die. She wouldn't let me take her picture. Neither would any of them dressed in black beside her. They locked arms and moved forward, regardless of what any statue had to say about anything. Understanding that what stood in front of them was not a ballot or a petition or a poem but a baton and pepper spray, a bloody mouth yes. and an officer of the law. I know that it, it takes friction to start a fire. Sirens, smoke, and blood are among my last memories of that day, and if I have ever been a proponent for the Second Amendment, it was Monday. What happens when the anecdote breaks? We built the courts so we wouldn't have to use the Colosseum, but right now there are lions in the center of the ring. There are officers clad in bed sheets, and the only poem I want to write about this is etched out of beer bottles filled with gasoline. My hands are getting restless. No matter how many times they make this walk, they make us watch this on TV, we cannot just forget it. His name was Michael Brown. <laughs>